What's up guys, Reese here, and today I'm going to show you how to install iOS 6 on the iPhone 4S in 2020. Now I'm not going to take up any more of your time, so let's get straight into how to do it. Okay, so start by opening up Safari and typing in pandahelp.vip and going to the regular section. Then scroll down and click download free version. Then a pop-up prompting you to install will appear, press install and wait for it to finish. Then head to settings, general, device management and trust the profile which is there. This will let you actually use the Panda Helper app. Then open up the Panda Helper app and swipe through the three sections you see and select open now. From here you need to search for Phoenix and press download. It will display a Twitter pop-up, just press to go to Twitter and then come back to the Panda Helper and select download. Then a screen will appear prompting you to install, press install. From here the app will download and once it is complete, open it. Then you need to turn on aeroplane mode for it to work correctly and then click prepare for jailbreak. Then accept the terms and conditions and proceed with the jailbreak and finally click begin installation using the provided offsets. It will tell you your storage is almost full, don't worry about this, just select done. Then the phone, if you've done it correctly, should restart itself. Once it's restarted, go into Cydia, let it do its thing and then press return to Cydia, ignoring the essential upgrades. Then click on sources, edit, add source and type in coolbooter.com and add the source. Then return to Cydia and click on the source, all packages, Coolbooter, modify, and finally install and let it run. It will again come with the storage almost full alert, just dismiss it. Then return to Cydia and go back to the home screen and the Coolbooter app should be present. Once you've opened the app, click install and let it run. It will then ask you which version of iOS you want to install. You can choose anywhere between 6.0 and 9.3.5. For this video, I'm choosing 6. It will ask you if you want to do a custom boot logo. I chose not to, and I've also chosen not to verse boot. Then leave it to download the iOS 6 IPSW from Apple. Once it's downloaded, it will ask you to restart your phone. Click reboot. Once restarted, open the Coolbooter app again and click boot, locking your device to begin the process. You will then see it installing. Then open the Coolbooter app again and repeat the process. This time you will see iOS 6 actually installing to your device. And finally, you should see that iOS 6 has successfully installed, greeting you with the setup screen. So yeah, that's how you install it in 2020. Now you can download all the IPSW files from a site called IPSW.me, which I will link in the description, but through iTunes, or it's not iTunes anymore, it's the Finder on your Mac or, or on your PC, it still is iTunes. You can't restore to the old firmware because Apple doesn't support it anymore. So this really is the only way you can do it and have it work well. I'm sure there are, there are probably other ways, but this is the way I've done it. If there are other ways that are easier, please comment down below and I'll do a video on that just to have the easiest version of it out there available for you guys to see but yeah that's how you do it now getting on to reasons why you would want to do this um, it first of all it's aesthetically pleasing to be on the old iOS and just see what it, obviously it like you used to look like and be like oh the good old days for those of you who used iOS back in the day um, also, it runs a hell of a lot faster than iOS 9. You may have seen in my um, iPhone 4S in 2020, is it still worth it video? If not, I'll link in the description. iOS 9 on this phone is awful. It's so slow in every aspect, so it is great just to be able to swipe through, open stuff, have it be ready in almost instantly, and just have it all there. So that is a nice aspect of it. 
As far as actual apps on iOS 6, most of the apps that I've tried, like Instagram, Twitter, uh, Netflix, Reddit, they all just say this app is not compatible with this iPhone. Now, I don't know if that is down to the fact that it is jailbroken iOS 6 or it's installed through jailbreak or whether the apps just straight up aren't supported anymore, but I don't know. I, I'd assumed it would have tried to download an older version, but it didn't work. That might just be something with me. If you guys do this, please tell me in the comments below if it does that for you. But yeah, that's just what I've experienced. So yeah, that is how to install iOS 6 on the iPhone 4S in 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, press subscribe, and click the little bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload, and leave a comment down below. So yeah, see you later.